The easiest way to get a copy of your class rosters that include your students' accurate email addresses is to export a list from Infinite Campus. So what you're going to do is log into Infinite Campus, and then on the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to go to Ad Hoc Reporting. If you click on the little arrow to the left of Ad Hoc Reporting, it will expand that category. And you wanna to go to Filter Designer first. So click on Filter Designer, and you can see a list of all of my filters. You probably don't have anything listed in yours yet, but what you do have are these little images of people. Um, one of them that is there is All Campus Users. If you click on the little plus to the left of All Campus Users, you'll expand that group and scroll down a little bit until you see Copy of Class Rosters. So right here it says Student Copy of Class Rosters. Go ahead and click on that. And what we're going to do is underneath, right here, you're going to choose copy. And what this is going to do is it's going to save this to your own filters. So now up near the top of your screen, right up here, it says student copy of class rosters. So now when you come back to this, it will always be here. But we need to edit it because right now it is listed with my name in this filter. And we want to search for your classes, so we need to put your name in there. So you're gonna click on the student copy of class rosters that's in your saved filters up near the top, and you're gonna go down to where it says edit right here. When I choose edit, you can rename this if you want, but I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom right and click on next. Now right here in field um, ID, course section, teacher full name, it says it equals hero comma Melissa. What you are going to do is you are going to delete that and you're going to type in your last name, comma, first name. It is important that you have the exact name that Infinite Campus has for you. So now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to press save and test. And this is just going to make sure that we have all the correct information so a window will pop up and you can see all of your students and just make sure that it's accurate. I'm going to close that window and what we need to now do is export this data. So on the left hand side of your screen in the ad hoc reporting, ad hoc reporting filters, you're going to go down to data export. And we're going to click on our copy of class rosters that now has your name. And then we're going to pick an export format and you're going to choose delimited values CSV. And then down below you're going to click on export. What this is going to do is it's going to create a file, a CSV file, that we can open up in Excel. Or if you don't have Excel on your computer, you can open this up and use this in your Google Drive as a Google Sheet. So I'm going to open this up. On my computer, it's going to open in Excel. And we need to do some editing in this document. So. Right now, the column names are a little funky. Um, it's okay for right now. Um, the, it doesn't really matter what the column headings are. But notice that all of your students are sorted um, alphabetically, not by period. We want to make sure that they're sorted by period. So I'm going to sort by column E. And it asks me if I want to expand the selection because I only have one column. And I'm going to say yes. And so now it has sorted all of my classes by class period. Um, I did have an extra thing in here for student birth date. If you did want to use this to import these students into your contacts, their birthdays would show up on your Google Calendar. Um, but I'm going to delete that because we don't need that today. And the way that Doctopus works, which we're going to want to use later, is that it goes first name, last name, email address. So I'm just going to click on column C and I'm going to press Control c or Command-C on a Mac, and I'm just going to reorganize this. So I'm going to now click on column E and press Command-V. And um, I can delete my first names now. I don't need this column anymore. I could have pressed um, Cut, which was Command or Control-X. So I'm going to take the last names and put them over here. Now we need email addresses. And the way that we're going to get the email addresses is we're going to create a formula. 
that uses the student ID number. So I'm going to go into my first cell, which is F2. So here's F, here's 2. It's like you're playing Battleship. So in that first cell, I'm going to press the equal sign. Then after I press the equal sign, I'm going to move my cursor and I'm going to click on cell A2, which is that first student's ID number. Then I'm going to press the AND symbol, the ampersand, which is if you press SHIFT 7, that will give you the AND sign. So we're going to add to that student ID the at seq.org, and we need to put that in quotes. So I'm going to do quote at seq.org, I'm going to do my last quote, and so you can notice it's equals the first cell that has the student ID number, the AND sign, and then in quotes at seq.org. When I press return, it's going to create that email in a, as an actual formula. Now I don't need to do this every time. Notice I just clicked on cell F2, so it's surrounded in a blue box. But on the bottom right hand side, there's another little blue square. If I double click on that blue square, it will fill all the way down to all of my students, their email address. But notice when I click on each of those cells, up here it's actually formulas. They are not text. We want to convert these into values or text. So I'm going to click on the whole column by clicking on F. And then I'm going to press Control or Command C to copy them. But now when I paste them, I'm not going to do a normal paste. I'm going to paste the values. So over on the left hand side of my screen, right here where it says paste, if I click on the little arrow to the right side of the little clipboard, I can paste values. And what that did is it just replaced all of the formulas into actual email addresses, into text values, and you can see that up here. So now we are ready to go. We have our rosters ready that we can copy and paste when we run Doctopus.